guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a video today on what is in my diabetes bag. Ooh. I carry all my diabetes stuff in this little bag by the Tote Project. It says free to roam on it. I have a cute little pin. There you go. I have a cute little pin on it. Um, I'm going, me and my friend are making pins, so I'm gonna be adding some pins in the future. Also, I'm always looking for diabetes pins to decorate my bag just cause it's fun to decorate your diabetes bag. So the story behind this bag is it's from a project, a project. It's from a company called The Tote Project, which helps stop human trafficking. Uh, so it's really cool. So they make these bags um, and then have or I'm not sure how much of the proceeds, but part of the proceeds go to helping to stop human trafficking. So for what's inside my little bag. So one of the things that I try and always carry with me is a backup pod. Um, I always have pod fails for some reason, so I always just feel 12 times better knowing that I have one in my bag ready to go if I need it. I usually only carry one. Sometimes I wonder if I should carry two, but one is usually perfect. The other thing I carry with me is alcohol swabs. <laughs> these are all upside down, but I carry a bunch of these with me so that um, if I do need to change a pod, I can always clean off my site, the old one and the new one. And I obviously have plenty in here. I have way too many. Second thing that's in here, there's a lot of stuff in here. And I really need to clean this out as well, but I bring my PDM with me even though I don't use it anymore. Um, I bring it with me as a backup in case something happens with my Riley link. If you didn't know, as soon as you turn this on and you put a new pod with it, it'll link right back up. You don't have to like do anything crazy. So I carry this with me in case something happens with uh, my Riley link or who knows? Cause you, I, you just, you never know. So it's always good to have a backup. Also have the almighty glucose monitor. Um, I use the one drop. I love this cause it's so tiny. Um, I don't use the case that goes with it. And actually I need more strips. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but there's like no strips in there. Um, but yeah, everything that goes with that. So pricker, meter, strips, which I need more of. The other thing I carry with me are syringes because sometimes your blood sugar goes crazy and you need a quick little injection. So I always carry syringes with me, which is another reason why the alcohol swabs come in very handy. Um, I need to put more of these in. This is turning, this video is turning into what I need to restock my bag with because I'm running low on a lot of stuff. I also always carry with me some Zofran um, just in case I start feeling sick or get a stomach bug and just to keep myself from throwing up because stomach bugs can get really crazy with type one. So it's good to have like just a quick little emergency supply of anti-nausea medicine, uh, which is what the Zofran is. I don't think I said that. Last but not least, insulin. So I carry Fiasp and no vlog. I carry Fiasp with me because it's supposed to be like really quick acting. So if I need an injection, I'll use Fiasp. Um, and then I just carry my Novolog with me for if I need to do a pod change because this is what I put in my pod. Um, <laughs> everything else that's in here is garbage, like old strips, old ends to um, syringes, like stuff that's really not important. I do always carry low supplies with me and my Riley Link, but I just don't put them in my diabetes bag. I have a little pocket, just like one of the zipper pockets in my backpack that I always carry with me that I stick gels in. Um, but, and then I just always stick this, my Riley Link, which is in this disgusting neoprene bag that I need to get a new one of. But I carry my Riley Link just in my pocket or I just throw it in my bag because I always need that close to me and my diabetes bag is always not within like an arm's distance reach. I will say both of those come with me low supplies and Riley Link, but they're just not in my bag ever. That's pretty much it for today's video. I just carry all my stuff in this little pouch. Just the necessities for type one. I don't carry an extra Dexcom with me because those are very bulky and not as much of a necessity as an extra pod would be or syringes or whatever if you have a high blood sugar. Oh, you know what I didn't mention? I have this little thing that I carry um, on the zipper of my bag that just says type one diabetes. I got it on Amazon. I will link it below. I think that's it. Let me know what you carry your supplies in. I always like seeing everyone's little bags that they carry around. I know some people use like specific diabetes bags that have all sorts of compartments in it. 
Well, I love those. I just love using this one because it has a good cause with the tote project. I'm still trying to figure out what kind of videos I want to put up. I'm thinking about like cooking videos and stuff like that. I think that'd be kind of fun. Or maybe more sit down videos like this. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments or shoot me a message on Instagram at the diabetic cactus. I'm always on there, so feel free to message me and there is about 100% chance I will respond. So I know this was a quick little video. I just, I know I said a while ago that I was gonna tell you guys what I carry with me. All right, that's it for today's video. I know it was super quick, but I just wanted to show you guys what I carry in my bag because I know I said I would do that, I think in July and then I completely forgot. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys later. That's not the undo button. <laughs>